We have completed series and parallel combination of resistors and we know how to simplify and calculate the equivalent resistance when the resistors are connected in series or in parallel. And now we will deal with more complex combinations. So let's take our problem number one. In this problem, we are required to find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. Now when you look at the given network, you will find this particular terminal is the terminal A and this particular terminal is the terminal B. And we want to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B. This means we want to simplify this combination of resistors and have a single resistor having the value of resistance let's call R sub AB equal to the resistance offered by all these resistors together. Now whenever you have to deal with the problem in which you are required to calculate the equivalent resistance then always start from the extreme end. You can start from this end as well. Here you can see that 10 ohm resistor is in series with the combination of all these resistors. So the equivalent resistance RAB is equal to 10 ohms plus the value of resistance offered by all these resistors together in this combination and we don't know the value of resistance. Therefore we cannot have the equivalent resistance when we start from this end. Therefore we will start from the extreme end and here we can see that 1 ohm resistor is connected in series with the 5 ohm resistor. And we know the reason why the two resistors are in series combination. Let's say current I is the current through 1 ohm resistor and this node is the simple node and at a simple node the two resistors are connected. Therefore there will be no current division at this node and the same current I will flow through 5 ohm resistor as well. So the same current is flowing through the two resistors and therefore they are in series combination and hence we can have a single resistor in place of these two resistors having the value 1 ohm plus 5 ohms and now we will focus on this portion of the network and let's say this node is having the potential VC this node is having the potential VD and this terminal is having the potential VB and therefore these two nodes will have the same potential that is VB. They are having the same potential because there is no element connected in these two wires. Therefore all the three points will have the same potential. Now focus on 3 ohm resistor and 6 ohm resistor. The 3 ohm resistor and the 6 ohm resistor. Now you can see that across the 3 ohm resistor the voltage is VC minus VB. The voltage or the potential difference is equal to VC minus VB and across the 6 ohm resistor the voltage is VC minus VB. VC minus VB. So both the resistors have the same voltage across them and therefore they are in parallel combination. Now focus on 4 ohm resistor and 12 ohm resistor. 4 ohm resistor and the 12 ohm resistor. Across 4 ohm resistor the voltage is VD minus VB. VD minus VB and across the 12 ohm resistor the voltage is VD minus VB. 
the same voltage as we have in case of 4 ohm resistor therefore 4 ohm and 12 ohm resistors are in parallel now by keeping all these points in mind we will simplify this network and have the network like this here we have one single resistor in place of these two resistors and its resistance will be equal to 1 ohm plus 5 ohms that is 6 ohms and we know 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors are in parallel and to make it look more clear we will shift this terminal of 6 ohm resistor to this node and therefore we will have the arrangement like this 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors are in parallel similarly 4 ohm and 12 ohm resistors are in parallel and to make it look more clear we will shift this terminal of 12 ohm resistor to this node and therefore we have this arrangement 4 ohm and 12 ohm resistors are in parallel now we can see that 6 ohm resistor is in parallel with this combination of resistors so it is good to simplify these two combinations first and then move further we know we can have a single resistor in place of these two resistors having the value 3 multiplied to 6 divided by 3 plus 6 which is equal to 2 and in place of these two resistors we will have a single resistor having the value 12 multiplied to 4 divided by 12 plus 4 and this is equal to 3 and now we are going to make these changes in our network and therefore we have one single resistor in place of these two resistors having the value equal to 2 ohms and we have single resistor in place of these two resistors having the value 3 ohms and this resistor is having the value 6 ohms now it is clear that 3 ohm resistor and 6 ohm resistor are in parallel so we have 3 parallel with 6 and then when you imagine a single resistor in place of these two resistors then you will find that resistor is in series with 1 ohm resistor therefore we will add 1 now when we calculate 3 parallel with 6 plus 1 then we can have the value of resistor which we can put in place of these three resistors so imagine a resistor in place of these three resistors and then you will find this resistor is in parallel with 2 ohm resistor therefore 3 parallel with 6 plus 1 will be in parallel with 2 now it is clear that finally we will have one resistor which is having this value in series with 10 ohm resistor therefore we will add 10 and this will give us our equivalent resistance now let us simplify this 3 parallel with 6 means 3 multiplied to 6 divided by 3 plus 6 then we have plus 1 in parallel with 2 plus 10 from here we will have 2 and 2 plus 1 will give us 3 so 3 parallel with 2 plus 10 3 parallel with 2 is equal to 6 over 5 then we have plus 10 and finally we will have the equivalent resistance equal to 11.2 ohms this is our answer so i hope this problem was clear to you and now we will move on to the homework problem and the homework problem is very very important in this particular topic because in this way we can include more and more networks so here in this homework problem 
you are required to calculate the resistance between the terminal A and the terminal B. So you need to calculate R sub AB. And once you have your answer, post it in comment section.